Mm. The pedangadils are fragrant in the garden this time of year. You wonder where I'm at? Stay tuned to find out. The mic is on. The mic is on. Is it? Officially. All right. Welcome, everyone. I am Beth. I'm Chris. And we're Taste, Try, Travel. And we are doing our studio show, The Mic is On. The very first one Yay. right here. We're going to be talking travel. We're going to be talking cruises. We're going to be sharing a little bit of our life here. Um, yeah. And kind of what we do in between cruises. Yeah. Because hopefully it'll be a little more personal. Because when you do... Yeah blogs and you sit back and edit them you kind of take out all the 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 yeah. stuff that's not supposed <laughs> to be there but we're just going to leave it in it's just going to be a live studio show exactly so a couple of things that we're going to do here on the show uh we teased a little bit at the beginning we're going to be doing a land loving segment each time and those ought to be fun yeah just kind of sharing kind of some adventures that we have on the land exactly in between cruises loving it up in between cruises that's right hashtag hashtag in between cruises <laughs> we're also going to have a mascot for each and every show and that's going to be uh you know one of the little tchotchkes or something that we've kind of gotten through our travels over the right. years we've gone all over the place and we pick up yeah kind of weird fun things and we we have them <laughs> all over so hopefully we we'll, do we'll share them um like well there's a reason he is our mascot we don't have a name for him this beautiful piece of artwork is he oh Look at that. Oh, Look at monkey. that. That is go. glorious. <laughs> no, it's not. But he has been with us very long. Chris, tell him how long. Okay. So. We have an even. There we go. <laughs> we have been married for 22 years, six months. Yes. We've had this magnificent piece of sculpture <laughs> for 22 years, five months. Yes. I used to travel for work. I used to drive long, long distances. And somewhere in the Arizona, California border, in the middle of nowhere, on a lonely stretch of dusty highway, I stopped <laughs> at a uh, truck stop. And I was walking in to get my uh, refill of soda or something. And I heard something calling my name chris a siren from somewhere and i looked in the direction and sitting on the bottom shelf the bottom shelf with light Dust. glimmering was this incredible piece of art <laughs> i snatched it up immediately took it to the counter and paid for it drove home burst open the doors and said, Beth, look at what I found. Look at what we get to display and proudly show to friends <laughs> and family that come over to our house. Mm. And I think she immediately had second thoughts about our marriage. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, but yeah, I'm not super, mm. you know, a big fan of, of uh, Mr. Pirate here, but... He has been with us the longest and uh, he kind of represents what Chris would like to do if he could, he would be a pirate. I don't know what pirates do, but I would, I would love to be a pirate. You would love to, but you know what? I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell a little story. Um, why Chris can't ever really be a pirate. Do you remember why? I don't know what story you're going to tell. So we were living in Sarasota, Florida at the time. Oh, okay. And I know the story. The intercoastal waterway um, is a beautiful place to take a boat ride because you get to see all the like really fancy houses. It's just, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And so we're like, we can do that. No problem. And there's a 
great little hole in the wall seafood shack called well it's not really seafood shack i think it was hot dogs what was it called uh the salty, salty dog. dog and it had uh just this um uh, a bunch of dock areas where you could yeah, like a patio with a yeah. dock right in front of it yeah and a lot of people would just pilot their boats up and uh have lunch and so we're like let's do that so we no rented problem. a boat we had never done this before, but somehow we thought we could. So there's like, you know, nice, you know, dock right in front, nice and empty, no other boats. And we had only got like two bottles of water with us because we planned on eating this really great lunch. So we kind of, you know, as soon as we got close, Chris tells me hop out with the, with the rope. So, you know, I jumped out onto the pier with the rope and I was going to kind of like tie it off. Right. So I thought that was the plan. Exactly. Tie it so off. that was the plan. So, but you know, Chris was going to kind of, kind of come in here and then like, you know, you know, bring the, tell the, tuck, the, tuck the boat in. in. No yeah. problem. Yeah. And that doesn't happen. He didn't know how to do that. So he just kept going and going and going. And almost at the point where the boat was completely off the dock, he yelled back at me. Just get in the boat. Get in the boat. So I like run down the pier and just jump in the boat and he takes off. And at this point, we can't go back because everyone who's on the patio is like laughing at us that we don't know how to like stop the boat. I should say Chris didn't know how to stop the boat. <laughs> so, in my defense. So we didn't eat that day at all. Well, we didn't have lunch that day. <laughs> In my defense, there was never an episode where Captain Steubing docked his boat like this. Or at least they didn't show it. So I had no idea and how to do it. That's all Chris knows could, about being could, on the open water. I could welcome <laughs> guests aboard and tell them that their cabin was on uh, Fiesta deck. But, but you wouldn't actually go anywhere. But so like, he can't actually like... Yeah, anyway. Docking a boat. Doc, my so thing. We don't do that anymore. So, But anyway... So this is our mascot for today, our first, our first show. Mascot. Yay! Hopefully, we'll, there'll be a bunch more that are fun. All right, we have little stories, but we have notes for today's we, show. What is today's show about, Chris? What what you can expect when you take a cruise on Wonder the Seas from embarkation to disembarkation, and all of that fun stuff in between. Let's get to it. We just showed all of our Wonder of the Seas series on our YouTube page. So please go back and watch those. We had a fantastic time. And now we just, yeah, want to let you know what you can expect because we know you plan on going as well. So starting out, boarding the ship. Exactly. So let me pull up the video here. We went out of Fort Lauderdale. Uh fantastic port to go out of Put but it the there we go i don't know where we go okay but royal caribbean did a fantastic job of having so many people there ready to check all of the passengers in so it was seamless it was great they there was probably 40 agents mm -hmm. um just checking everybody in we were in line for maybe five minutes in that line then which is right there on the mm -hmm. screen right now that's the line uh, then they just put you around the corner. You went up an escalator, went to another gentleman who checked everything, um, make sure it was okay, and then boom! Yeah, we you're get we did stand in really long lines. It's super easy, quick, quick process. You're gonna love um, it. Yeah, I think they do a really good job. Absolutely, yeah. we were literally probably about twenty minutes from when we arrived at the port to right. when we got on. Now, uh, the Wonder of the Seas right now is in Europe. When it comes back, it is going to cruise. Its home port will be out of Port Canaveral, um, which is another really, really easy uh, uh, port to get to from your hotel or to drive in and park. So, um, oh, what have you got next? I, I just don't know. Up the next one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, yes, I mean, <laughs> Miami's a little, they're, Miami's they're working on it. a bit of a mess. It probably yeah. will be good in a couple years or whenever. But I just think that the, the space is, there's not a lot of space. I think Fort Lauderdale and Port Canaveral just have a little bit more, you know, space they, for those big terminals. And they just did a great job of, yeah. of, of getting you on. No, it's so nice. Isn't it great when you start out a cruise without like a hassle at check-in, like you're that's the way to start out a cruise. <laughs> and I have to say, 
also disembarking and really while you're in port. I think probably in port, yeah. yeah. When you're getting off a ship. It's it was a highlight. Yeah, kind of was. Of a cruise. Kind of was. Because we've been on, I'm sure you have too, been on cruises where it just takes, they say, all right, now you can uh, get off the ship. And then you're in line for an hour, maybe not an hour, 30 minutes, you know, to get off the ship. We were stuck on a stairway one time, like... Everybody like rough. on the stairs, that not even rough. like in between the stairways. We were so crushed. <laughs> My personal space was invaded yes, and it was, it was offensive. <laughs> um no, but you you but, can just take the elevator down. Yeah, once they they say yeah. you can get off the ship on the wonder. Yeah. Take the elevator down or stairs down or wherever, and then there's the little escalator and you doop and it has like a little screen you can see as you're driving or you're just driving as you're riding down the escalator. Um, it says where you're at, the weather for the day, what time to be back on the ship, and then you just get off through security and done. Yeah, you don't there's stop. like plants there, yeah. like it's nice. You just don't stop. They say you can get off the ship and you're you off the go. ship. Yeah. It's no, it's so easy. They make it so easy. I don't know why it's so hard on some other ships right all right so we have now so that's a plus for you yes we've got on the ship once you get on the ship i think it's important that you make note of this especially on the wonder because what? there's so many restaurants that you get on the ship immediately and make reservations yes and for whatever you want to do and i think that's what i did like i passed up the free champagne i went and found a seat and I got on their app, which they have a fantastic app. I uh, got on the app and made all my dining reservations for the week. So when we we had the uh, unlimited or all you, uh, unlimited dining plan, however they call it, and uh, with that you can't pre-book any of your reservations. And there were like we wanted to hit them all, and we wanted to go to Mason Jar a couple times. Um, and so I got on and did those right yeah. away. You see on the screen, this is five minutes after we're on the ship probably exactly yeah i just went like crazy and just like started booking well you know just because there's so many and we wanted to get them all i think i already said that but um i think it's why it's so important is we were on the ship and it was about three quarters full yeah yeah Within 30 to 45 minutes after we got out the ship, there were people saying they couldn't get a reservation all exactly. over the place. We, we were hearing from people that they couldn't yeah. make a reservation. So if that's something that, uh, you know, that, that's important that you need to, you, to do. Make it a priority and do it. Because yeah. even like we weren't even able to get a uh, brunch reservation uh, for Mason Jar. And um, so even, uh, you know, as quick as I did, I still missed out on some. So if there's something that's a priority, do that first. And the yeah. app is so easy to use. Just yeah. just hop on there and and do it. Because like I said, there's so many restaurants. What is there? You don't want to miss. 22 20? yeah. restaurants. Um, and they're And they're just... They're delicious. They're good. Do you want to mention anything about the dining plan? I mean, we kind of mentioned that in the videos, but do you want to mention anything about um, the dining plan? You need to do it. Yeah, it was great. You just hop around to to on Royal Crib and you can eat it as yeah. many as you want. Yeah. During it's the, the day, only it's so. the only airline that or, yeah, geez, it's the only cruise line that I know that you can uh, do the all you can eat, uh, unlike other ones where it's just kind of like one a night almost. So, so if you want sushi um, for your appetizer, like like we wanted to do every single night, and yes. then. And then head over to. We actually did that twice. Uh, yeah. We went to. Uh, we didn't. We didn't show it all, but uh, we went to one restaurant for appetizer and the other for for the main course. So it makes so it really fun. Great, but, yeah, but it you adds can watch another that level. In our videos, yeah. we kind of cover that. Yeah. All right. So I do want to cover uh, Wonderland because that was one of the things that I really was looking forward to after watching so mm -hmm. many videos from Wonderland and hearing people talk about it. Um, exactly. So we did Wonderland. Here's some of the footage here. So uh, the restaurant oh. is beautiful. So creative yeah. with the food, everything, even down to like the forks and knives were like, they were like something like you wanted a souvenir of almost, you know, right. they were really, really cool. Um, and I think that we have to go back on one of the Oasis class ships to do 
wonderland. Uh, our server had another really large table. Uh, we missed some of our appetizers. So we had a little bit of miss on, on our visit, but what we saw and what we had, we really enjoyed. Yeah, I was so looking forward to it, like I said, but I was kind of disappointed in the food. It was very hit and miss, in my opinion. Some dishes were just full of flavor and, and uh, they just, you know, you really were tasting things. And then some of the dishes were like as flat as can be and like just, mm. so I was disappointed in that, but they make up for it and everything else that they do. I love creativity and creative people and the creative process and people taking chances and uh, yeah, 100%. You know, thinking wildly and that literally right there, outside the box. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's that's what Wonderland is. So right. even though the food I thought was not one of the better meals we had, I would go back in a second yeah. just to have fun and experience it again. Well, I think I think ever I think you guys should really make sure you do that because Wonderland is something that you shouldn't miss. You know, and, it, and it definitely I, could be different every time, right? Because of uh, the Mad Hatter. Yes. Yeah. He would come around and talk to you when he we, took you on a tour of the restaurant. It was We talked about shrimp in our teacup. So, exactly. yeah, we had a lot of fun with them. So, yeah, it could kind of be like a different experience each time. So definitely, definitely make sure to do that. Yeah, it was yeah. a highlight, even though the food was a little yeah. disappointing. Yeah. Another highlight, which I have to commend Royal Caribbean and Wonder the Seas on. What? Well, the Mason Jar is their newest restaurant. Yes. Um, it's Southern Fair. Southern Comfort Food. Um, Which is my favorite. But it, <laughs> because, maybe because, and probably because it was also very good, but maybe because it was new, um, reservations were gone. We got reservations, luckily, twice within two minutes. And, and then that after that, you couldn't get any more. Yeah, that was it. But... If that should happen to you, if you get on board and there's no reservations, or if you just want to try a sampling of uh, the Mason Jar, yeah. they have an area, the bar at the Mason Jar. Yep. It's kind of separate here. Let's get a little video yeah, going. Yeah, so as you walk into the entrance, the restaurant is off to the right, and then the uh, the bar is going to be to the left. Uh, they serve some fantastic drinks with moonshine. It's the only um, ones that you can get uh, there in that, am I saying that right? And those there, you it's can the only, only get it there. Get it. <laughs> uh, they have some fantastic seating options. Look at this really neat bench. Uh, and then, of course, the stage with the live country music. So, and they serve uh, versions of their appetizers exactly. that you can get in the main restaurant, yeah. which I thought, I think you agree, yes, is yummy. some of the best food that we had at the Mason Jar. Yeah. Uh, the appetizers were great, and they're like a uh, a la carte pricing. Um, and also it's open super late. So it's open till like two o'clock, uh, at least on our, 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 our sailing. So, uh, you can be doing whatever you can kind of end your night there with some music and some little bit of, you know, food and some great drinks. I don't know. I think it's a great option. I wish we would have utilized it more. Exactly. So make I, sure you do. <laughs> I think it's wonderful because yeah. it's, it's not like any other place on the ship or any other ship has I can its, really think of. Has its own little vibe. Exactly. Yeah. It's just a neat place. Go sample some food, get some good drinks, listen to some and you're like country so music. So close to the musicians, and they were really good. So, yeah, I really another don't miss. You're gonna you're gonna be busy on the ship just like we were. Exactly. Okay. So <laughs> another um, we love pubs. We love we the do. pub atmosphere. We do. Um, it's just like a a nice little comfy spot. That you can go and and get some kind of connect with other people, fun drinks. Yeah, yeah exactly. Connect with people, uh, get a little taste of food sometimes. Yeah. Uh, play some games. We yep. love to play games. Yep. Um. So so we're, on yeah on all the ships we're kind of drawn to those. Exactly. But on this one, on Wonder, they have two different pub areas, and I kind of use it quotation pub yeah. because one of them is is not called a pub, but it basically is a club pub. That's Playmakers. Okay, yeah. It's kind of like an American Yeah, version. it's an American. Yeah. It's a sports pub. Yeah. They have, let me 
pull up the video. They have here. a, a they pool have, table. Yeah, a pool table with hundreds TVs, of TVs. Well, maybe not hundreds. Sports. <laughs> it's kind of like an inside outside. It's kind of open to the outside. Dozens of TVs playing yeah. everything you can think of on those yeah. TVs. A um, good selection of uh, beers and um, appetite. Look at there's your wings that you loved so those much. Those wings were good. There's our jalapeno uh, peppers we got. Mm -mm. Yep. Uh, they had onion rings. They had burgers. They didn't have an extensive menu. It was just kind of like it was good. Yeah, it was nice. So Playmakers, one of the pubs, yep. is like a sports pub. Yeah. And then the other pub they have is a uh, cask and clipper. clipper. And it's like a, a it's like English a, pub. Yeah, it has so it's like all wood inside, and it has uh, tables and chairs, kind of like spilling out. And but that was in the promenade. Yes. So I think that was like always busy. It seemed like there was the music that was playing in the promenade, the band that was right above. Um, uh, it was always busy. Always. That one didn't serve food. Didn't have food. No. So even though you could walk. 40 feet away and get pizza at, uh, everywhere is pretty close that's Sorrentos. Sorrentos. yeah yeah um but they did not have a like a, a menu right they right. just had drinks so yeah. if you wanted something more american like with with uh bar food pub food you go to playmakers mm -hmm. if you wanted something more traditional like right. uh english more more cruising type yeah um pub i would go to the cask, cask and, and clipper, clipper which i have to mention ncl on many of their ships i'm not sure if it's on all of them but many many of their ships they have a pub yes where you can get a full menu like, yeah like breakfast lunch and dinner yeah there, yeah but you can't do that at cask and clipper right nope just if you want to walk and get pizza that's it yeah uh, otherwise it's yeah it's just drinks I mean, there it's, so uh, it's, it's a massive ship so it's kind of cool that they have like two pubs on there it's yeah kinda nice yeah I mean, so many bars, but two like pubs. Yeah. So. What else we got? We have to mention. Uh, okay. Can you hear our cat? Our cat. <laughs> once in the studio. We're not letting him in. No. Nope. <laughs> um, we have to mention, because it was the best, is the buffet on the okay. ship. It is the best laid out buffet experience i've had i think it's the best buffet at sea if i can say that i like, would agree I think that the that's shocking. the aesthetics that's i know shocking statement. <laughs> the aesthetics how much light comes in uh the quality and the variety of food that was available here's uh, a the or, entrance show it with benches you know? where you can just hang <laughs> out in the buffet <laughs> if you want grab a Grab a book and go watch people wash their hands if you want. I didn't understand the I benches, think, but I loved them anyway. I think it just led to the the feel of the, it. It's just the, yeah. the oh, it's, it's a nice little buffet. It didn't That's seem America. frantic like a lot of buffets. You know, and and we never came across a time when there were like a lot of lines. No. Everything was broken up into those little islands. Every little place had its had its place <laughs> there was a really nice a whole section of just vegetarian and vegan food so they did a really great job of the layout so on the screen there these little islands were kind of nestled in between all the seating areas yep um and it was just great so you could just hop up and here. grab something else and and, and go back down because there was no lines you just well you know, in some buffets too like the food is at one spot and it's your table you want is like all the way so it's um, right so yeah, it was just it was, it was laid great. out great. I think Big you guys will windows. love it. You'll love it. It was yeah, and it was just great. Yeah, best buffet at sea as they as you just that we've seen so far declared. That's right. <laughs> okay, so we're what on next? the ship. We're on the ship. We're eating. We're having a we, good time. We've we've made our reservations. We've eaten. Yep. It's time for What's a break. Next? Okay. We teased this. Oh, it's that time. Okay. It's land loving time. We teased this at the beginning <laughs> of right. the video. Where was I? Let's see. When I was smelling the fragolias. They were so fragrant. <sighs> Today on Land Loving with Chris and Beth, we are here at the gardens at Biltmore House. This house is the jewel of the Blue Ridge Mountains, built in 1985. Oh, wow. 
wasn't right, built then. Uh, right. wasn't built then. It was built 1895. Somewhere around the time <laughs> Back to the Future came out, this was built. <laughs> built in 1895 with over 175,000 square feet, which is four acres of indoor space. This house is amazing, but that's going to be a whole separate video today is all about the spring blooms in the gardens. So come along and explore with us. Can you imagine even living in this house? Yes, I can. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Where are we going? The garden. Ooh. Let's go. High expectations. So here at Biltmore House, all of these gardens and actually all of the grounds surrounding the house as well were created, designed, built by Frederick Law Olmsted, uh, who was best known for creating Central Park as well as the U.S. Capitol grounds. So beautiful. You know, these gardens aren't quite as big as the ones we explored at Powers Court when we were in Ireland, but definitely that we need a little rest. Remember friends, if you can't be on a cruise, land love. So, just wanted to give a little traveling tip for all of you out there that are garden uh, newbies, like me, <laughs> that only know like four plants. Make up a name Say it with conviction, and nobody will ever know. Hmm. The Padangadils. The Patapsadils. I think people will know. <laughs> Unless you're standing next to a gardener, they will never know. <laughs> They'll be so impressed that you knew the name of that obscure little plant. <laughs> Sage advice. <laughs> No. <laughs> Sage from a wise, wise man. We had so much fun there. Hopefully uh, we'll get to show you some more videos of that later. Or maybe the house and, and yeah, the house it's just so beautiful. Whole, it's yeah. just massive. Everything there is massive. The garden's exactly. massive. The house is massive. Yeah. The view is massive. Anyway. So if you are in the area, make sure you visit. Yes. All right. So. What else oh. should we expect when they are on the wonder? All right, so when we got to our room, um, we were approached by the room steward. Room steward. Yep. And he handed us a little piece of paper yep. saying that our luggage had been flagged. Flagged for security reasons. That was a first for us. Exactly. So I brought on an extension cord mm -hmm. with for all of our equipment. Right. Um, it's not a surge protector. You know, you're not supposed to plug a surge protector into a surge protector. That's why they don't allow them. Right. It's one that's not a surge protector. We've taken it on other cruises, but they 
confiscated it on mm-hmm. this cruise. They gave it back, obviously, at the end right. of the cruise. Right. Um, but they said, not on this ship. Right. They didn't really give us a real answer, though, did they? No. No. They just said, not on this ship. So when we went down there, not only, well, let's, let me preface this by saying, yes, I know that there are people like me that their oh, yes. emotional <laughs> well being is tied to their fan. Yes, I know yours is. If the fan is going, you're happy. The fan isn't going, you're a little, you're little grumpy. S- you're sad. Yeah. <laughs> um, there were boxes when we got to the security area, there were boxes and fans. boxes yeah. and, of fans. There yep. must have been 75 fans down yep. there so they didn't allow and a ton of of extension cord yeah kind of thing extension cord. Yeah. it was yeah. all they confiscated all of that yeah all kind of electric and like, like you that. said they just said not on this ship yeah so we don't know if that will change if that was just because it was the first they wanted to make sure all the outlets worked like no i don't really know um exactly so it, it could have been new people anyway it could have but when we did like finally settle into our room uh because of such a new ship uh there were plenty of plugs in usb plenty so yeah when you go don't worry about that yeah we ended up not needing our just our be aware computers. that you may have to um you know uh calm yourself to do some <laughs> calming exercises when, exactly. you, when your fan is not present on the ship <laughs> or it might change by the time you get on there. Right, right, right. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So we got into the room also. We were very impressed. We didn't get a big room, just a standard room. We actually room. got, yeah, we tried, we were on the cheaper side yeah. of the room. So we got a, a Central Park balcony. A Central Park balcony. The size of the balcony, I pull up a video of this. The size of the balcony was fantastic. One of the incredible best that we've seen. And like we said, we did not get a special balcony at all. All of them were the size. Um, so it, great. And the furniture was fantastic and nice and big to fit too. So yeah, yeah, like I said to Beth, if we if we found a little Caribbean local that we wanted to bring home with us, we could have roomed <laughs> him out on the balcony I and mean, set up a king bed for the for that person probably it, it was just gigantic yeah i mean yeah. we ordered um a couple of uh times we ordered we room service for breakfast yeah and we always over order because that's what we do exactly and but it all fit on the table it all fit because most of the time you got a couple <laughs> coffee cups and that's it and that's yeah. all that fits on there yeah yeah we had no problem putting all a giant spread of food yeah. on fantastic there. extension of the living space so you'll love that and i think that the reason because it's just a big ship. It's a big ship. <laughs> they have room to put big balconies. Exactly. It's just yeah, big. Yeah. So you got big balconies. Yeah. You got big rooms. You Everything was pretty big, uh, except for that shower. And I won't, won't go into sh- the shower. <laughs> so I want to mention also one of our favorite places. Uh, just pull into the video here. Sorry. Um, is oh, the... It? solarium yes that was like my default that was that was our default like when we weren't filming or doing something on camera that's where we were and i think that um for us we like to play games we like to play dice games card games whatever we have our little bag that we bring with us everywhere and we found that the tables there were really nice and sturdy the chairs were comfy you could sit in for you know a good amount of time there was a bar there when the solarium bistro was open they had food just right there uh it was climate control yeah so it wasn't like super cold like air conditioner but there was like moving air uh beautiful views of the ocean that you didn't Huge get windows and, yeah it was just it was, like I said, it was the default area. And it I, was so nice. I think you yeah. guys will really enjoy that yeah. space. Yeah. Because it's just a space where you can go do a lot of things. You can read, uh, talk, because it's not loud at all. There's no loud music. Right. It was adults only, um, which, you know, there weren't a lot of kids on there. But uh, there was a couple little wading pools kind of at the front of the solarium, a couple whirlpools in there. A the great there. another little social area. Uh, these were some fun little beds. Um, and so you can see the big is... windows there. Look at that. We we went into, uh, was it Puerto Rico? I think we stayed in there for the Puerto Rico one. Just because we could see so well exactly. coming in. Yeah. So just a wonderful. A really, really good space. Very well designed. Very comfy, comfy. Had some pools in there. Yeah. Some uh, waiting pools. But 
the ship also had uh, a giant pool deck with four different four pools. different pools if you have kids there was such a fun little one a quarter of the the top deck was was you know was squirty water and climb up and you know all that kind of stuff and uh there was one that was a little bit closer to this the smoking area was right there by it another was you know the beach pool or zero entry kind of where we was i guess was our default for yeah the pool. as i say you'll probably find, you'll find a, your spot your little spot on yeah. the on the on the pool deck because there's so many different areas we yeah. never had a problem finding a chair at all i mean there were so many open it wasn't a full cruise right. but even with the full cruise i can't even imagine that those would all be full right so there's a there's so many loungers but then uh, along the outside windows of the ship uh, there's just lined with chairs and kind of tucked under the chair as a little footstool so you could pull that out and uh be super comfy there and those were hardly ever really uh used too much so i think if you are a sun lover uh or even like to be outside but in the shade you'll be able to find your spot again so i like that they kind of uh they made all these comfy spaces so yeah it was it was just it was impressive. I never uh, been on a, a ship that had so much space around the pools. Exactly. Well, and again, this was our first Oasis class ship. You know, obviously people have been on the others. They might be used to it, but this was our first of the of the big ones that we've been yeah. on. So happy so with that. That was one of the areas on the ship was the uh the pool deck the pool deck then we had it had different it was very i just wanted to mention the, yeah. the zones because yeah even though you might get lost on such a huge ship if you <laughs> knew kind of where something was so let's say you wanted to go to playmakers you knew that was in the boardwalk area right so you would go to the boardwalk area so they had the boardwalk area yep. they had uh the uh, promenade. The promenade central park they had the arts and entertainment which was like the fourth level with the casino and stuff like that um, and the pool deck yeah and what was fun was in the elevators too if you didn't remember exactly where like uh, uh the boardwalk was there'd be a little symbol that would show like a little carousel so you didn't even really have to memorize what was on what deck you could find it pretty easy by the symbols in the elevator which was so it's really neat. It neat was too. such a gigantic ship. Obviously yeah. the biggest in this, but they've broken it up to where you don't feel completely lost yeah. all the time. Yeah. So you can that's still find, nice. You can still find your Because I get lost all the time <laughs> anyway. I don't need to do it on a cruise. That's right. Also. <laughs> that's right. Um, all right. So I want to mention just a little bit. Of what? Coco K. Because it's on so many itineraries for Royal Caribbean. Thank goodness. It really should be. And it should be a, it's a, something that you look for because when they say perfect day at Coco Cay, I, I really think they have done a fantastic job of trying to find something that fits everybody. Yes. It's enough for kids. There's enough for thrill seekers. enough for, you know, if you want to just do nothing, if you want to snorkel or play in the wave, it's just everything. There's everything. Everything. Uh, um uh wave runners yep like you, you said smart stuff. all that stuff and there's a giant pool i mean this pool is so big we were there with about a thousand spring, spring breakers, breakers and yep. that might be underestimating how probably, many were there probably they all were at the pool yep we still were able to go find a quiet spot yeah over on the other side yeah. of the pool so it's just nice because you, you do mm -hmm. beach a beach bar with Jimmy Buffett music playing. Yep. I mean, there was live music. Yeah. There's a guy playing the guitar out there. Yeah. You know, it's just a you know, quiet lagoon, like you said, a rough wave beach. And so nice. It was. And we've been to pretty much every private island out there. And we really, really enjoyed this. So we will actually be looking uh, to find another itinerary um, that goes there because we want to go back. So I would a pick an itinerary yeah. just for Coco Cay. That's how much fun yeah. I found it to I be. So. And I think you guys would too. Yeah. Just because it caters, it literally will cater to anybody that looking for any particular thing on the right. island. Right. All right. Definitely. Let me check. Here. Right. I think we need to Did wrap we... this up. We're, we're approaching 
40 minutes here. So let's go ahead and wrap. Well, wrap it I think what we else can, you want to say? I think we can just uh, close that loop right back to disembarkation. So just as easy as it was to uh, get on the ship, uh, just as easy at the end uh, when time Boom. to go home. It's always a sad time, um, but they made it really stress free to get off, get out of the port, uh, which was really, really great. Yeah. Because sometimes vacations end on a frustrating note when you have to stand in a long line just to get off the ship. <laughs> we don't, other cruise lines, we don't need that drama at the end of our vacation. We don't need it. No. We don't need it. Don't make us wait. <laughs> don't make us wait in a line, a gigantic line to get off the ship. Exactly. We don't need that. All right. So we love the wonder. Please. If you go, leave us a comment or if you have gone, how much you enjoyed it as well. Royal Caribbean did a fantastic job and we're excited to go back once she is maybe in uh, Port Canaveral. Yes. Yeah. So again, if you have a name yeah. for this guy with this chest don't hair. It. Don't share it. Don't share it. You don't have enough. All you right. can't do it. Okay. We'll you go. can't do it. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on our studio show. Yes. The mic is on. We appreciate it. We'll look forward to seeing you in our next one. Good night. Bye, everybody. <laughs>